Hello everyone. So I'm just going to try to um, put together this little Lockwood. It's like the bigger brother to that little Lockwood down there. And Paul's bringing it nicely. has put them in numbered bags and everything. So little stages you should go through. I got my little pinning tweezers. I got a bag of uh, more Lockwood pins and stuff in case I want to bump up. I think I might put a spool or something in there if they fit. And... Well, hammer for beating a little caps in and stuff. Right, so this is the beginning. All right, so um, I'm not gonna need the the bag of special pins here because first off, they're probably a smaller diameter for padlock. But look at the taper on this key pin, man! It's a nice long. They're all like that. They're tapered like that. And these guys are nice little spools, or serration, I don't know what you call them, but they're, they're tapered down, they're like little T-pins, then they taper back up, I don't know, but they're fine, I'm going to leave them like that, so that's how they're going to sit in the little thing, I'm just trying to, I was trying to figure it out, okay, okay I know this is the spring, it goes down for the shackle, and this is the pin that retains it, and then this is the plug that covers the pin. And then over here is the locking mechanism, the spring for the locking mechanism, the pin to retain it, the cover to retain it, and then this covers at the very end. So that's how it works. Thankfully, it's already keyed, <laughs> or I'd have to file a key down to fit it and everything, but... Almost there. It's a lot of fun trying this out. But yeah, I just wanted to show you those pins. Let me see if I can get this guy to zoom. Look at the taper on that guy. That's a long taper. It's pretty cool. And those, uh, these things here, you know, the, the T pinish kind of guys, but they have a slope to them too. So, yeah. Very interesting. Nice. It's going to be a fun lock. And get it put back together. Nice little Lockwood bigger brother. Hello everyone. So I guess what we'll call this is a tale of two Lockwoods. Uh, this is the end of the of the video, but it may be become the uh, the beginning of the video just because of the way it turned out. Uh, this was the brother that uh, Paul Springett sent to me in the package in pieces in putting it back together um i left these um things at pie uh just because he said you know when you do that that'll give you a little bit of room to some do some sanding well first i put the shackle in and that was all right then i had to put the core retainer in there <coughs> and the uh, paul mechanism retainer First time I put it in, I didn't realize that it was also the core retainer. I thought one of these pins was going to be it, but it wasn't. <coughs> that's that's the core retainer and the pawl mechanism. Maybe it had, doesn't have anything to do with the pawl, but it definitely has something to do with the core. So, because I left these high like that, I got my needle nose priors and twisted and twisted and finally I got it off but it went sailing across my shoulder <coughs> so I lost that cap at first I said that's all right I'll, I'll get past that you know so I put the core in I put the little pin in I didn't have a, a cap for this and then I put the first chamber in and man I don't know how they do this you know the people that do this on a regular basis but it's a pain in the butt one end is tapered, you know, and you try to get in there, and I tried it with a little hammer. Well, you've got a little spring underneath there also, besides these things being hard to do, so they'll t have a tendency to shoot off. So I got one of them done sitting here, and I decided to take the other ones over to the, the bench, because this is the dinner table. I cleared off a space just to do this little project. And uh, I went over and back into the bedroom where the vice is on the table. And I set it down. And that's when I realized that I had put all these springs in here on these things. And all the little uh, the little end caps were still uh, 
loose, but one of them, one of them was on was on here, but all the rest of them had fallen off. So then it was them uh, go hunt for the pins because you know they're key pins and drivers and they're specialized. I managed to find um, this guy, which was the one that had been missing from before. So I found him. I found all but one driver, and they're the special spool kind of driver. All but one driver and one end cap. So, for one driver, I took a little T-pin kind of thing that looked just kind of like it, and uh, it fit in there. It was for a padlock, a little T-pin. And I put it in there, and it worked. And then the other, you know, all the other ones. For this, I've got the, the right stuff in there. I just got a, a little, like, a, a wafer to hold the spring in, and then this tape. So eventually, maybe one day, Mr. Paul Springett will send me. <laughs> well, it's no rush or anything like that, you know I mean? But if he ever does, he can send me one of these little end caps if he's got them for these little padlocks, and it can take this off. Because right now, all I want to do is get it functional and get it put together. And uh, it has a different spring in one of them, too, because I couldn't find the right spring. One of the springs was missing. I forgot to mention that. So, kind of bastardized, hybridized, or whatever. But, there's his little brother. He's beat up, but he's joined him. And like I said, eventually he'll take off his band-aid and stuff. But, no no hurry, you know. Just like this, I'm not going to file these down. I'm just going to beat on them a little bit more and get them a little bit more flush. And then maybe I'll pick this guy. I'll pick the uh, the hybrid there you go, a little tail of two Lockwoods. Man, this took all day. I, I started off in the morning, and then it was, you know, on your hands and knees looking for pins and everything, so. But it was fun to get it completed. And it's not completely complete, but it's complete as it's going to get <laughs> for a Saturday.